welcome to five points of articulation, where I review action figures and then articulate five points to help you decide if you want to add that figure to your collection. The five points I discuss are packaging, presentation, posability, playability, and price. I'm Jason, and if you enjoy my content, please like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube rigmarole. Today, I'm taking my first and possibly only look at the DC Multiverse Target exclusive Flashpoint Wave with Aquaman. Starting off with the packaging, and I'll admit, I'm a bit conflicted. Flipping around and we can see that most of the back is dedicated to the Build-A-Figure. Again, very nice big picture of him from the comic. Over here, the key is building suspense by only showing us one piece at a time. But thanks to the instructions, at least we do know what the pieces are going to be. We now know that the second figure is Superman, and oddly enough, both silhouettes are the exact same. That said, it's pretty obvious that the final figure is going to be Wonder Woman. We do know Superman is coming with his arms. My prediction is that the third figure is going to come with the legs, and that Wonder Woman is going to come with the head. As we'll discuss in the next category, a head can really make or break a figure, but if we've already bought the other three for fear of missing out, it's more likely that we're going to buy that head to finish off our investment. At least with Starro, we knew what we were getting, and we could be excited for it. This time, I'm not excited. I'm nervous. For packaging, I'm giving Aquaman half a point. Moving on to presentation, an Aquaman stands at just over 7 inches, but not quite 7 and a quarter. The figure is near complete reuse of their Endless Winter Aquaman. Now, you might expect that to be a mark against this figure, but no. I love this Aquaman. And because of how similar the costumes are, the reuse just makes sense. The green has been swapped out for black. There is a nice touch of gold trimming the gloves, and also running down the legs. And kudos to McFarlane for painting the outer pins gold to match. The bright gold of the shirt has been changed out for a darker red or orange, and a strap has been added for his trident. There is some nice leather texture and stitch work sculpted in, and even some gold paint punched in. To be honest, the reddish shirt and four pips kind of put me in mind of Captain Picard. To McFarlane's credit, they've also sculpted a new shoulder to add the insignia. Hmm, something familiar about that. Dun dun dun! Well, joking aside, it would have been easy to admit that, but they didn't, and I'm grateful for it. My main criticism is the head. First, let me start with what I like. I like that it comes off. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I like that the eyes are facing forward. The eyes were the only criticism I had of this figure. I also really like the job they did painting and texturing the hair. Doing a flat top in action figure form is challenging, but I think it looks realistic. Even flipping it around to see how stubbly it is on the back. What I don't like is the gaping mouth and the shadows. Hey, somebody watched my smoky eye tutorial! I also don't get why his teeth are so dark and his tongue is basically black. Don't get me wrong, I get that they based it off of this comic, which is pretty cool, but they could have just as easily based it on this one, which is even more iconic. And if you're wondering, the reason why you can't see Mira's head in that picture is because she doesn't have one. My personal preference for something a bit more static aside, I think the real issue is it doesn't look like he's actually screaming. For comparison, look at the zombie Aquaman from Deceased. The lips are curled, and there's taut line work around the nose and cheeks. This looks more like his doctor is about to check his tonsils. Or who knows, maybe he just swims around like this, catching fish like a baleen whale. I appreciate McFarlane Toy's desire to give us something a bit more dynamic, but boy would I have appreciated it so much more if they hadn't. The body sculpt is great. If only they'd quit while they were ahead. For presentation, I'm giving Aquaman half a point. Moving on to posability, and no complaints there. From the top and his head's in a dumbbell joint. This far up, that far down. Not a lot of tilt, but all the way around. Swivel hinge shoulders that raise over 90 degrees. Forward and back with the rotation cuff, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and McFarlane wrist balls that do all the McFarlane wrist ball things. Moving in the middle, he has a diaphragm joint and a dumbbell waist. Back this far, which is fantastic, and this far forward, which for McFarlane isn't half bad. Great amount of tilt, and twist. Below the belt, he has McFarlane hips. They kick forward this high, and split this far. Great twist at the hip, double jointed knees only mildly hindered by the fin. Hmm. Findered? articulation, and the new and improved McFarlane ankle balls that can swivel, hinge, and pivot. I've said it before, and I'll say it again, this is one of the best articulated DC Multiverse bucks. In terms of quality, it really rises to the top. For posability, Flashpoint Aquaman gets one whole point. Moving on to playability, and in addition to a trading card and a figure stand, Aquaman comes with a quindent. It's a quindent because it has five points. Welcome to five points of stabbing, where I stab things with my five-pointed stabber. The five points I stab with are these. I'm Orin, and I'm gonna stab ya! 
Most importantly, Aquaman comes with the torso of Cyborg. Putting it side by side Aquaman and you really get a sense for just how gigantic this Cyborg is going to be. There's a lot of really good detail in different panels and rivets. The paint for the red lights is pretty bright. Mine's missing a bit of black paint around the edge of the diaper, unfortunately. The shoulder pieces are hard and don't move, so I do expect that they're going to get in the way of articulation. Also notice the tampoed on Cyborg logo. Based on the artwork, that's something that they've added. Right out of the box, there's a lot of scuffing on this side, which is really unfortunate. But the most unfortunate unfortunate part is that the only thing we have to go on is this drawing. If they do another target wave next year, I really hope that they show us a photo of what we're going to be getting. If not on the box, at least online. Unless the price increases, this is at least $100 for a lot of mystery. But playability is more than just accessories, it's also about how well your figure plays with others. For my entire Aquaman collection, and here we have the 1984 Superpowers figure by Kenner. Next up, and here we have Aquaman from Total Justice, also by Kenner. This was his 90s look. Speaking of the 90s look, and here we see it as part of Mattel's DC Universe Classics. Hopefully McFarlane gives us this version soon. And then here we have the classic look. Here's a DC Essentials version. The DC Essentials deceased version we looked at earlier. For the teeniest, tiniest King of Atlantis, and here we have Spin Master. And then moving over to McFarlane, and here we have Jason Momoa from the Snyder Cut. And Endless Winter. For another use of this body, and here we have Aquaman's half-brother Orm, the Ocean Master. For a few other Aquaman supporting characters, and here we have the Brightest Day Mira. And no, I'm not taking your head off. That's Wonder Woman's job. Here's the brightest day Aqua Lad. Really looking forward to the Page Punchers one. And here we have the DC Essentials Black Manta. Since this Aquaman comes from Flashpoint, here we have Reverse Flash. And for the only other Flashpoint figure I have, here we have Batman. Well, of course, since it is Flashpoint, might as well bring out the Flash. This one's DC Essentials and DC Multiverse. Here we have an Essentials Hell and Multiverse. For a couple of Supermans, however, and here we have Action Comics 1000 and Angry Laser Eyes Hush. Here's DC Essentials Wonder Woman. And since we neither have a regular version or the upcoming Flashpoint version from McFarlane, here's a new 52 by DC Collectibles. Arthur, I have a present for you. What's in the box? What's in the box? For his Marvel equivalent, and here we have Namor the Submariner. For those who don't know, Namor came first. Speaking of Marvel, here he is with Siren. Here he is with Sebastian the Crab. For some reason, I can't find Pizza Spidey in the Spectacular Spider-Man. So, for a roll to scale comparison, here's Renew Your Vows and the Superior Spider-Man. But don't worry, here he is with Stealth Iron Man. This Aquaman doesn't have a whole lot of other Flashpoint figures to play with yet, but that's going to change. If you didn't want to finish the Flashpoint display, you could probably put him in the background of your Aquaman display as an Atlantean Royal Guard or something like that. Some extra hands and especially an extra head would have been preferred, but at least he comes with a weapon. And of course, there is this to look forward to. For playability, I'm giving Aquaman one whole point. This leaves us with nothing left to discuss but the price. Aquaman is a Target exclusive and retails for $24.99. As I see it, this figure is for four different groups of people. Those who love Aquaman, those who love Flashpoint, those who just want a DC Multiverse comic book style cyborg, or some combination of the three. While I do like Aquaman, this isn't a version that particularly speaks to me, or should I say screams at me, without knowing where we're going and frankly not liking what I'm seeing so far, I honestly regret this purchase. Don't get me wrong, if you've watched this video and you like what you see, great. I'm happy for you and I'm happy I made the video, with the exception of the head it's a nice looking figure, just not for me. In spite of my personal preferences for price, I'm giving Aquaman one whole point for a grand total of four out of five. Fortunately, there are other Aquaman in the sea. If you like this video, check out one of these. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back again real soon, but until then, play nice and have fun.